Hi everybody, this video is going to be about feline leukemia and this is going to be of interest to animal lovers, especially cat lovers. So I'm going to tell you about um, my cat and his battle with it and, and I'm going to tell you some things I've learned about some medications that may help cats who have been diagnosed with this disease or have who have tested positive for this disease. Chirpy is the cat in the picture and he's the cat I'm going to be talking about during this video. I rescued Chirpy about a year ago. He uh, basically belonged to a like a little gang of feral cats in my neighborhood. At the time he was a kitten and I remember when his mother was pregnant with him and she's a feral as well. So basically we got him, his mother and his siblings to these trap, neuter and release programs so that she wouldn't have to keep bearing these kittens over and over and over again. She had had like five litters in the past couple of years and this and it's too much on her body you know she deserves to be free like anyone else she has had her share of kittens so um we got him and his siblings into these different trap neuter and release programs uh, several of her kittens went under a different program they were not tested for feline leukemia one of those who were not initially tested died from the disease and one was adopted out and then that cat who was adopted out was abandoned at another shelter so we've lost track of that cat and I don't know what became of that cat of the ones that Chirpy went to the vet with several of his litter mates were tested he and several of his litter mates were tested along with his mother okay his litter mates tested positive for it and his mother and him they tested negative the ones who tested positive were put down immediately they were not given a chance they were just put down immediately by this program I didn't know that they were going to do that but I understand why they do what they do because it's, it's quite contagious and it's a bad way to go I don't really like it or agree with it but I can understand where they're coming from so anyway Chirpy and his mom tested negative his mom is basically a nice cat but she's feral she's more happy outside so basically she's still in the colony of cats and you know just enjoying her time outside Chirpy was a baby at the time. He has adapted very well to indoor life. He prefers to stay in so, inside, so, and he lives a very, very good life with me. Because of everything that had happened with his siblings, I had him tested for feline leukemia. Excuse me, I had him vaccinated for feline leukemia because I was told that he was negative on the first test. I had him vaccinated for feline leukemia around January of 2017. Uh, let's see I had a coupon for a test you know for a feline leukemia test and I decided to have him retest it because I had been doing some reading about the issue and I heard that sometimes there were false negatives and false positives and all that and besides since I had the coupon I decided why not get him tested again to see what his status is because I had just heard about another one of his litter mates that had passed from the disease so I became very concerned so um he in March he tested positive for the disease and of course I was I was very devastated the the person who did the testing she was basically her attitude was basically they don't live long just keep away from other cats and you know he'll be dead soon that was basically her attitude she wasn't very optimistic about there being any treatments for it or anything like that so um, I did a lot of research on my own oh also let me backtrack here also, I want to know if the false positive was perhaps due to the fact that he was vaccinated in January. Because I know that with feline AIDS, if you're vaccinated against feline AIDS, it will cause you to show up positive on the test. So being that this is not feline AIDS, this is feline leukemia, I wanted to know if something similar would happen with feline leukemia. And so I asked her about this and she was like, oh no, that's not possible. So I'm not sure whether she just doesn't know if it's possible or not or whether it truly is not possible but it's still in the back of my mind it still is possible that he tested positive because he had been recently vaccinated they said that it can't happen but I'm really not sure the experts don't know everything so I, I really don't know so right now everything is kind of up in the air I did a lot of research on the virus and I was from my research I learned that there are several things that can happen once you test positive either your body can one clear the virus conquer the virus and you go on about your life two you can become persistently infected 
of those who are persistently infected, there are some who are symptomatic and they have problems like um, these respiratory problems, certain cancers, different things like that. And for the ones who are infected but not symptomatic, they can still transmit the virus so they can still be a danger to other cats. I'm not a doctor and any of the advice that I'm about to give you is you take it at your own risk. But there's nothing out there that is really helpful with mainstream medicine with this disease. I've done a little bit of research and there are a couple of companies that have something called L LTCI and this like this injection that your cat can get every week at the vet. But a lot of vets don't have it and the data with this is kind of there's not enough data on the effectiveness of this and it's quite expensive and a lot of vets don't really do it. So I really haven't seen any good feline leukemia treatments that are affordable and that have science, something scientific backing it up. So I've done, I did some more research and I learned that feline leukemia is a retrovirus that impairs the immune system. And so that got me to thinking, okay, human HIV is a retrovirus that also messes up the immune system. The, the virus itself doesn't kill you. What happens is it messes up your immune system and so that other things can come along and kill you like cancers that your body is not able to suppress and um, pneumonia and things like that. So I got, I started thinking maybe these HIV drugs could work. So yeah, I did yet some more research and I found a couple of peer reviewed articles about using using human HIV medications on cats who were diagnosed with feline leukemia or feline AIDS. So I found some safe, I, felt, I did some more research and found what medicines I believe could be well tolerated. And I came up with Lamivir and the generic of this is L-A-M-I-V-U-D-I-N-E tablets. And I give him, I get the 100 milligram ones and I cut it into half. And because of his weight, he gets 50 milligrams a day. I've also used the medicine Duovir, D-U-O-V-I-R. I will have these medicines listed in the description box below. But either way, I give him either Lamivir or Duovir daily. And I give it to him based upon his weight. I don't just give him the full adult human dose. I cut them up. And I put it in these weekly pill dispensers. And so every day he just gets a half a pill. And for him, tablets are better. Some cats may tolerate capsules mixed with their food. But for him, he just won't eat the food. So I just will give him by the tablet in the human adult dose, cut it down or based on his weight. I use drugs.com to, you know, calculate the correct dose according to weight. And I just give him his half a pill every day and he's been tolerating it fine. I haven't noticed any side effects or anything. I began this regimen, I believe, in April 2017 and he's healthy and it's almost December 2017. But the thing you also have to realize is that he wasn't symptomatic to begin with. The only reason that I, he even got a false positive test, the only reason he was tested again after he was initially tested negative is because I was nervous because of the things that had happened to his litter mates and I had a coupon so I got decided to retest him again. So he wasn't technically sick. He did test positive but he wasn't technically sick. He might not have had such good luck with this medication if he was already symptomatic like coughing, sneezing, tumors, all of these things. So my point with this little spiel is the key is early treatment. As soon as your cat tests positive for this virus you have to jump on it and treat them early with it. It's just like with anything else, you have to get in there and start the treatment as soon as possible. Hopefully this treatment will do the same thing it does with human retroviruses, which is, you know, to suppress the virus until your uh, the viral load is undetectable. Also with feline, unlike with human HIV and AIDS, feline leukemia, sometimes that your body, their bodies can clear it. So that's what I'm hoping will happen with him. Hopefully with this antiviral therapy and just his own immune system, he'll be okay. Really, he was the biggest and strongest of all of the siblings, so he is doing very, very well with his medicine. He doesn't have any side effects or anything like that. As far as the medications, being that these are human HIV drugs and they are prescription, you have one of two options uh, to get these medicines from. Now, I'm not condoning or any of this, but when your animal is in danger, you do basically what you have to do to make sure that he or she gets the treatment that he or she needs. 
Your first option is you can order it from another country where the laws are different. AllDayChemist.com has good human medicines and you don't they don't require a prescription and they're based in another country so that they're so that they are kind of under different laws. I know a lot of people personally who buy retin A from them and the medicine is good, it works, it clears up their face. So I know that their drugs are not counterfeit. So alldaychemist.com is a good place to get these human HIV medicines from. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of places on Reddit where you can also do some research and see about where to buy these drugs online without a prescription. You can see about that. Uh, your other second option is probably if you're able to get a sympathetic human or animal doctor who will like prescribe this for you on an off-label reason you might can get it that way so there's a that's another option so i ask you to please share this like comment subscribe if you have any questions please ask and please share this so that any other animals out there that can get the help that they need thank you for your time bye bye